Biafran National Guard, BNG, one of the groups agitating for the secession of the Southeast from Nigeria, has taken responsibility for the attack launched on Monday on the Abia State Police Command Headquarters, Umaya. Gunmen on Monday morning attacked the headquarters of the State Police Command in Umaya, the capital of Abia State. Sahara reporters gathered that during the attack, one person suspected to be a police inspector was killed. A source who lived close to the station told Sahara reporters that he had gunshots around 1 a.m. Around 1 a.m., we could hear gunshots. Initially, we thought the policemen at the station were the ones shooting because sometimes the shoot to scare potential assassins. By daybreak, we heard it was an attack on that, you know, on that policeman. You know, and that policeman was killed. Pardon, the source said. The BNG, in a statement issued on Tuesday, explained that it, you know, it attacked the headquarters to effect the arrest of the commissioner of police, Janet Abade, to explain the reason behind attacks on Biafrans. The group added that it harbored no intention to bring down anyone at the station. The BNG, in a statement signed by its head of media, Elemamba Iberichuku Foda reiterated that it had declared war on Nigerian government and announced October 30th, 2021 as the Independence Day of the region. The statement reads, we, the Biafra National Guard, wish you Merry Christmas and we want to also use this opportunity to urge you to continue to be unbiased in your reports. As you already know, we redeclared the sovereign state of Biafra on 30th of October 2021. By virtue of that redeclaration, Biafra became a sovereign state and we, the Biafra's army, would like to maintain cordial relationship with you all. Our army will soon officially start exercising our full rights as an independent state and wish to continue to enjoy professional relationships with you all as referees and also the highest of the world. Biafra is a legitimate cause and there is no way to freedom. Everywhere leads to freedom depending on what the oppressors threw at us. The occupational government of Muhammad Buhari threw dead at us, force and oppression. We are dying every day and our people experiencing all kinds of suffering. It is our inalienable right to choose to die no more. It is our right to defend our lives, and we have fully triggered it. Remember, we called for the release of prisoners of conscience, being dehumanized for preaching Biafra, but the refused. The chose the path because they settled like the Alpha and Omega that decide our fate. They did not release them, and they have given us the impression that they will never release them. These people, you know, killing us must be brought to book and that is what we are doing. We must face justice and that promoted the invasion of Abia State Police Headquarters to arrest the Commissioner of Police of Occupational Government of Nigeria who has overseen death of thousands of Biafrans there. We have no intention to burn down the police headquarters or seize it from the time being. Our plan was to get the commissioner so 
he could explain why killing Biafrans became a thing of pride and joy to him. We are disappointed that policemen that ought to run away engaged us despite seeing we were heavily harmed. We lost no soldiers, you know, we lost no soldier, neither did any of our soldiers sustain injury. We took control of the headquarters briefly and neutralized many of the state sponsored terrorists firing at us. The commissioner escaped, but justice is inevitable. Furthermore, we encountered vigilante groups while traveling from Onsuka to Avia State but refused to open fire at them. We appreciated the efforts of vigilante groups but at high time the left the road and go into our communities. They should guide our communities and leave major roads because we won't leave them next time because they work with the occupational government and are a threat to the people's army. We are wanting them to resign or go into our communities alone. We will protect our roads and they should continue their vigilante whatsoever. We will see them as enemy link. The people of Biafra should not panic. Everybody should remain calm because we are on top of the situation. It is a gradual process. We will protect our people from the terrorists terrorizing them. We have seen enemy soldiers burning down houses, shops and killing innocent Biafrans. We will work harder to protect our people from the occupational soldiers. Finally, be a friend of sovereign states and we will not hesitate to stamp our sovereign authority. The first line of the sovereignty is the defense of our lives being taken at will by the occupational forces of the federal government of Nigeria. We will not relent until there is peace and safety of lives in our land. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to this? We cannot sit and watch our people dying again. That is why we have become active now. That is what the Biafra National Guard, BNG, have said. And as you can see, the BNG is one of the groups agitating for the secession of the Southeast from Nigeria. We would like you to let us know your thoughts to this. Our plan was to get the commissioner so he could explain why Biafrans became a thing, you know, killing Biafrans became a thing of pride and joy to him, not to kill anyone. But it's so unfortunate that the, you know, police that ought to run away from us, seeing us heavily harmed, engaged us. None of our men got injured or killed, but we neutralized some of the occupational, you know, army of Nigeria. We would like you to let us know your thoughts to this. We would like you to share your own reaction with us. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts to this. Jude Jasper said, There's nothing like Biafra Army. They are on their own. You can't tell yourself Biafra Army, in the other hand, destroying Biafra properties. This is sabotage to the highest order. You agree with that most people believe that this BNG was orchestrated by the DSS and according to what Jude have said, there's nothing like the Biafra army because these people are violent and in Abdekano IPOP they are non-violent. So obviously now these people are designed to sabotage the efforts of IPOP and also to tarnish the good image of which they have. I would like you to let us know your thoughts to this, don't forget that. The Biafra National Guard Army claims responsibility for Monday's attack on the Abia Police Headquarters and the vows to avenge killing of Igbos. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.